Flowers are cool. Here are a few of the flowers that I found around my home. Look at all the variability within these few. These ones have long yellow petals. This one has shorter purple petals. This one has many thin red petals. And this one has little white flowers. I'm going to show you a flower that has some very interesting properties and how biosynthesis comes into play. This is a drawing of Papaba somniferum, better known by its common name, the opium poppy. I can't get a real one for obvious reasons. Thousands of tons of these flowers are harvested every year to get the chemicals they contain. The raw sap from an unripe seed pod is opium and it can be ground and used in its raw form as a depressant or further refined into codeine and morphine. This flower can also be used to make a very interesting drug, noscopine. So, what is noscopine? It looks like this, and it's an alkaloid drug. Alkaloid means it's a chemical made by plants that contains at least one nitrogen. You can see that here. It contains about 4 to 12% opium, however it is not addictive, unlike codeine and morphine. Noscopine is used as an anti tussive agent and an anti-cancer drug, however the only current way of getting noscopine is from the opium poppy. There are a few problems that come with getting noscopine this way. Farming can be affected by disease, pests, and climate, causing variability in the product, and the large scale of the illegal opioid market means there are strict regulations and extra costs involved with the supply of these poppies. A study by Yenren Lee and her colleagues has shown a way to bypass these issues and significantly decrease the time it takes to make noscopine. They demonstrated reconstruction of a de novo, meaning from scratch, biosynthetic pathway in baker's yeast to synthesize noscopine in a few days. Here's how it works. There are modules that are the instructions that will together allow the yeast to make noscopine. The instructions will make enzymes and proteins within the yeast. For example, module 3 codes for the enzyme norcochlorine and encodes for the expression of four proteins, a mutant tyrosine hydroxylase, dihydrofolate reductase, dopa decarboxylase and norcochlorine synthase. Each module has multiple intricate roles of protein synthesis and gene expression that together create this pathway. These modules need to be inserted into the yeast so that it can read these instructions and know how to make everything needed. That means that these modules must be implanted into the yeast chromosomes where the DNA is kept. So. All of the modules are inserted into the yeast DNA, then the yeast is grown, and the noscopine is extracted. The growing process only takes 72 hours, whereas growing poppies is an annual process. This is a quick way of getting noscopine that does not have the same hurdles that poppy growing has. This process can also be optimised to make it even faster and more effective. Increasing glycerol in the medium the yeast grows in will increase the yield of noscopine. Genetic modifications also increase yield and efficiency by removing bottlenecks and increasing NADPH. NADPH donates electrons, which is essential for some of the steps occurring in the yeast. Yanran Lee and her colleagues have shown that genetic modifications can make yeast synthesize something it never could before. This opens up a world of possibilities. Studies have already produced opiates in another bacteria called E. coli. The medical drug field could be transformed if synthesis of highly prized complex compounds could be achieved. Cheaper, more uniform and effective drugs. Think of how much cheaper lab-grown diamonds are to natural diamonds despite being the same thing. Another study has increased the amount of multivitamins in black sweet corn, making it more nutritious. Accumulation of cannabinoids suffer from the same problems as noscopine. They have been synthesized from yeast as well. Even production of aerogels can harness the power of biosynthesis. De novo biosynthesis is a very exciting prospect, and it has lots of potential to transform many aspects of our lives. Thank you for watching.